Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do something a little more lighthearted, a little different. I'm kind of trying to dabble my way back into the beauty stuff. And I actually wanted to touch on and highlight black owned brands, black owned makeup brands within my makeup collection. And I also felt like this was a good time to do it. One, because I've been putting this video off for a while. And two, because I notice nowadays that with everything going on, that there are people who are highlighting black owned brands and black owned businesses, especially in the makeup world and the beauty world, black owned brands are being highlighted, which one is great, but I also do feel like there's a level of people being disingenuous. However, I do think it's great uh, that you know we're being highlighted black owned brands are being highlighted and black owned makeup brands are being highlighted so i just wanted to take the time to show you what i have in my collection and i am wearing some of these products on my face as well and it's honestly been a while since i've done a makeup look to come on youtube so thank you and for tuning in and i hope you enjoy the video so the first thing I wanted to highlight the one the only the very well known at this point Juvia's Place. Now I have five palettes from Ju Juvia's Place as well as a highlighter and I honestly get most of my Juvia's Place products on sale but I have four eyeshadow palettes and one blush palette and the blush palette can also substitute as an eyeshadow palette if you will i have the nubian the masquerade which this one is my favorite juvia's place palette and i'm going to get into that in a minute i have the magic palette which is the one i've always wanted to and i have the nubian 2 palette now the nubian 2 palette i didn't really want to rush in and get but it actually grew on me so it's a perfect fall color palette so i'm going to show that to you so all these colors if you look at it to me it screams fall it screams fall colors it screams deep colors and the only thing i would say that i don't like about it is there are only four matte shades and everything else is a shimmer but if you use another palette with this one you can definitely achieve looks and if you get really creative with it you can make the most out of these four matte shades Finally, in the palettes, we have the Saharan Volume, the Saharan, sorry. We have the Saharan Volume 1 Blush Palette. And I actually like this. You know, this can also substitute as an eyeshadow palette. You have your mattes, you have your shimmers. But I love that they have two highlighters and everything else can be, it could be a blush shade and it can also be a contour shade. Um, maybe even a bronzer shade, maybe even a bronzer shade. Also in the Juvia's collection, I have the Royalty One Loose Highlighter by Juvia's. Now I got this because this one, this particular shade, it definitely said it was good for, you know, skin tone like mine. And I do like it, but the only difference, the only problem I really have with this is the fact that it's so loose, I can barely control it. And I feel like more so pressed highlighters are better for me because I think they're buildable. And I also do believe that, you know, if you're heavy handed a little bit like me, that, you know, you don't have to worry about putting so much highlighter on. But then again, blend, 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 blend with the trend and it will, you know, fix it. And get the right highlighter brush as well. Even if you have to use a fluffy eyeliner, a fluffy blending eyeshadow brush to get it done, it's probably a good idea than getting that fan highlighter. I mean, fan highlighter brush, you know what I mean? But other than that, the, the shade, the color, it's really nice. If you like loose uh, highlighters, this one is good for you. And they do warn you on their website that it's pearlized or I think mineralized. And so you do have to be very careful with it. So um, I might just stick to pressed highlighters from now on, honestly. But the loose highlighters, I'm not going to lie, they look really good. I might even invest in some liquid highlighters. Now, on my eyes, I have the Juvia's Place Nubian palette, and I'm going to tell you, this, this is a must-have palette, and as you can see with this one, I've hit pan, and I hope to hit pan with most of my palettes, and for those of you who may not know, hitting pan means you've used the, the shade or the color so much that it's almost finished, and I want to get to that stage in, like, almost every one of my palettes just so I can buy new ones because I'll see people with a whole bunch of eyeshadow palettes and they end up decluttering or throwing them out before they even get halfway through that so I want to finish you know the palettes that I have in my in my collection or at least get through them enough before I buy new ones but this is a perfect palette I swear this is definitely a must-have and if you've seen a couple of makeup videos and makeup 
uh, product review videos on YouTube, a lot of people will say that this is a must have palette and it definitely is. There is no lie to it. You have eight shimmers and you have four mattes. But the thing is, you can get a lot with these four matte shades in the Nubian One palette, in the regular Nubian. It's a perfect, neutral, nude, basic palette. You can even build it up to create some dramatic looks. This is just perfect. And sometimes I use this one. It's like a deep shade, but it kind of has a shimmer to it. I'm gonna show you. I sometimes use that as a bronzer. I sometimes use this shade as like a a contour because I'm out of contour and I use that to contour my face. So, you know, you can really improv with some eyeshadows and other powder-based products. So I love that with this palette. I can create simple looks, basic looks. If I don't feel like doing, you know, anything extreme that may take a lot of time if I'm rushing to go somewhere, you can wear this to work. You can wear this, you know, on a, on a date. You can wear this and you can just wear this anywhere. So it's really perfect for almost every occasion. If you don't want to go too heavy with the makeup, you can use this. If you want to go soft glam, full glam, you can use this. It's definitely a must-have palette. And look, I know for some of you who may not be biggest fans of Juvia's Place for some of the controversies they've involved themselves in, as I am, but you have to admit that they're actually, I think they're doing better, keyword. Now, my favorite Juvia's Place palette is definitely the Masquerade palette, and the reasons why, you have your warm colors and you have your cool colors. You have all these warm, fiery, you know, reds and oranges here, and then you have, you know, the cool stuff with the blues and the purples and whatnot, and you can, you know, do crazy dramatic looks or fun dramatic looks, I should say, and then you, uh, again, have your, you know, basic and I shouldn't say basic, but your soft glam stuff over here, which is good. And you can mix and match either of them. And the palette, upon finding the, this palette, the colors just spoke to me. It's like one thing that really attracts me to a palette, an eyeshadow palette, is when the colors look like they're getting along in perfect harmony, if that makes sense. So I really... I really, really love this. And another good palette has to be the Ma the Magic palette. And it even gives you a, descrip a description on the back where it says opposites attract. The magic palette is inspired by the moon and sun goddesses of the wild. And you can definitely see that in the palette because you have the, the reds and the oranges and the pinks, the bright stuff of the sun and like the cool tones of the moons and everything. And that is what I really like about this palette. And again, you can mix and match to your heart's desire. I've created pink looks with this. I've created deep red looks with this. These, these two just look like they go together. So when the colors just look like they're singing in perfect harmony and they're like getting along in there, that's what attracts me to a palette, really. And when I see some looks being created with it that look like they can go together, I, I'm just... That is what attracts me to an eyeshadow palette. So that is Juvia's Place, and I'm going to move on to another brand, and it's going to be a quick one. So these are the blending eggs, and I have reviewed these before. These are the blending eggs from Beauty Bakery, and I've reviewed this before in another video, and as you can see, I've used three of them. And these are my go-to for beauty sponges and beauty uh, stuff. I did get these on sale, and... I, what I like about the Beauty Bakery is their packaging. Their packaging and their branding is really so good. Everything is all dessert and bakery theme, which is so cool, and they're very clever with it. And these blending eggs, you know, they're like they're blending sponges, but they call them blending eggs. And as you can see by the packaging, they come in what looks like a, a cardboard egg carton, and that is so cool. They even have they even have like nutrition facts on the back where it says nutrition facts great when used wet which it is it gets bigger when it's wet Com complexion smoothing get those hard to reach areas durable reusable eco-friendly now for the most part i've been using them dry but you can also use them wet as well these are their black excellence ones they call them black excellence they have another one where it's three pink and three like blue turquoise but i got their black excellence one and they're very soft like even i wish you could feel these even excuse my nails, but even when dry, these ones specifically are very soft. So I really love the Beauty Bakery. I love their packaging. I love the, the clever names they give for their packaging. Uh, I want to get my hands on some of their other stuff, but I'm, I'm just waiting for the right time, guys. Guys, the point, the point. I'm just waiting for the right time. Okay, moving on to another one, and this is going to be another quick review. Range Beauty. This is so far the only 
of foundation I have by them or the only products I have by them I should say and this is in the shade Moon Dust Island and I got it based on their shade comparison chart this is the one that fits me um I'm not sure if I got a bad batch or something like that because when I put it on and like it gets wet it kind of gets runny that's the only thing but when I'm done with this I'm going to try to order another because this one didn't come in the frosty you know glass they were uh they sell everyone else this is just a different one so I might get another one you know once I'm done with this um also I remember when this brand was originally called skinny dip cosmetics and now they changed it to range beauty and you know what it's still uh the foundation itself is still good uh less is more here I will always say that to people using foundation and I wish I had known that when I first started doing makeup less is definitely more we want to like put in that whole thing of foundation and just go around but less is more it's kind of buildable it's good for me i think it's good for medium to maybe even full coverage so and i think if you're i'm more of a full coverage person but if you want to if i would want to like you know slow it down a little bit i'll just go for the medium because i feel like sheer coverage if I wanted to go sheer coverage, I just won't wear makeup. That's just that's just me. But Range Beauty is also a good brand, so check it out. The next brand, and I think a lot of people know what this is. The crayon case. The crayon case, the crayon case, the crayon case. I really like the crayon case. And again, just like Beauty Bakery, it's very clever with its names and with its packaging. So what really got everyone into the crayon case was the whole box of crayons palette and how it kind of looked similar to Crayola and of course there was a controversy of you know Crayola stealing from Super Supercent and using her you know whole packaging to market their brand of beauty products and to be honest I just feel like Crayola stick to making crayons and you know utensils you know writing and drawing utensils for kids you're good at that just stick to it because you even had beauty gurus roasting the hell out of these brands out of Crayola for trying to even do makeup and I just feel like they were trying to capitalize on something and go in a different direction which in in as a business sense makes sense but it's like uh, stick to what you're good at now this one is the matte book and this one is the watch me blush palette now I got these two on the same day as I did the honor roll highlighter and the honor roll highlighter I've been trying to get at for a while. So when I had the opportunity for a sale to get to it, I, I took that opportunity. And I want, I really love the matte book. The matte book just called to me. All those colors, those colorful colors. Let me just show you. These colors, I love the packaging of the, of the crayon case. How it looks like a geometric math book. And like it looks like one of those books you get in, you know, the graph books you get in geometry. But I really love these colors. It looks like a palette. You have your nude colors right here. Especially if, if you want to go like basic soft glam. Like the look I have right now. You could go with these colors. And if you want to go, you know, more dramatic, more fun, more crazy. You can go with these colorful looks right here. So these are, these are really good colors and I took advantage of their sale, got 60% off and fun, fun facts, fun little story. I was deciding between getting the box of crayons with my entire order because I said, okay, people seem to love that box of crayons. I saw great looks cr being created with it and I was like, okay, should I get this and spend extra money? I know it's 60% off, but then it's like, oh, should I risk it? And I just decided, you know, the box of crayons, I really wanted to get it. But the mad book, the, the mad book was just looking really good that day. And that Watch Me Blush palette just had me like, uh, it kind of looks neutral too. I want to get that. So I, I just settled, well, not settled, but I compromised for getting the mad book with the Watch Me Blush and the uh honor roll highlighter and again back to the packaging i love how they give clever names because super sense said one of the reasons she wasn't mad at crayola was because their thing is just doing crayons her thing is doing school supplies in general and she said yeah you have 
a calculator that has lashes in them. You have an eye eye eyeliner that's a sharpie. You have honor roll a highlighter that's shaped like you know the packaging is the honor roll certificate. You have a a box of crayons palette literally called the box of crayons palette so her her stick her theme her brand is really just school supplies in general and of course she's adding new stuff that may you know kind of incorporate her being more so a just because she's from new orleans so you have lipsticks that are named gumbo and i'm trying to get my hands on that because that gumbo lip liquid lipstick oh that looks so good and ever since they discontinued embellish from the, from ColourPop, I need a dark brown matte lip. I need a dark brown lipstick. So I'm looking forward to getting gumbo when my I make my next purchase. But look at the Watch Me Blush palette. These colors are cute. These colors are very cute. All the shimmers are down here and all the mattes are up here. Now some days I kind of find myself, you know, having to add another palette with this one. But this is, oh, this blue is a really good one. And you can honestly get an eyeshadow look just by using these two colors. And mix and match and do whatever. And of course, add another palette to it if you have to. What I love about this palette that it, is that it does come with a mirror. I think unpopular opinion, but I think most if not all palettes, eyeshadow palettes should come with a mirror. But other than that, the crayon case, I definitely think you should check it out. If you haven't already, get yours from, get yours, make some tutorials, do some looks because the looks that come out from these palettes are bomb, okay? Bomb is creating bomb looks, okay? Black owned makeup brands are creating bomb looks. <laughs> now the next thing I want to get into is a very well known drugstore foundation and drugstore cosmetics line is Black Opal. Now, for a long time, Black Opal was not black owned. However, I recently found out that a black woman bought this company. So now, now we can sing, we can dance, we can jump for joy, we can eat, drink and be merry because Black Opal is now officially, as of recently, black owned. And that is good for us. That is really good for us. That, well, that's really good for all of us because there were, there was a thing where we thought certain things that cater to us were not black owned. I mean, were black owned. And then just to come and find out that they're not black owned. So Black Radiance is not black owned, but it is black operated. But still, Fenty Beauty isn't really fully black owned if you think about it, but still. It's not black owned. It could be, I guess, black created or black operated, but it's not black owned. So I'm waiting for someone black to buy black radiance. So it could be black owned. But for now, black opal is black owned. And that is good that we do have a drugstore uh, line that is black owned because not everyone can rush out and buy a 20 plus dollar bottle of foundation. Sometimes, especially when you're just starting out, you can you might have to compromise for the nine dollar foundation and this is about nine dollars maybe depending on where you go but you can buy off their site but i've bought really off i bought from the drugstore and sometimes even here in new york city the best places where you can find a full range of foundations drugstore foundations that go as deep as my skin tone and deeper is when you go to places like manhattan you know harlem and brooklyn Sometimes here where I am, it's not always easy. So I'm very fortunate to go to places and find a black opal stick. And I already know my shade and it's the shade Carib, or at least that's the closest. And I, you can also use these sticks as concealers and as contours. So I'll always get one as a foundation and then I'll always get one as a contour. So once some of these pharmacies open back up, I can go back and get my contour shade because even though even this is almost running out. Okay, the next one is a very, very popular favorite. You may have seen it on Shark Tank. It didn't get a deal, but now it's doing great. The Lip Bar. And I really like the Lip Bar, okay? I have, so far, two matte lipsticks, one gloss, and one regular lipstick. And I have Boss Lady, which I've been trying to get for a while, and I, I got it sometime last year, as well as Brick House. These are really two good red orange shades that I just felt would look good on my skin tone. Now, only thing uh, that sh freaked me out about this was the application. It came on very, very, very wet, and I was and I was really scared that it wouldn't work for my lips as much as I thought it would. But it actually does if you just give it time and let it dry down. And that's one thing I think I've mentioned in my past video, where just let this dry down and 
you you're good and have a nice lip liner to match up with it because lip liners for us melanated queens out there <laughs> lip liners are our best friend it's the best friend we never knew we needed and i feel like we've always well maybe not we i'll just speak for myself at one point i've always disregarded lip liner as a necessity until i realized until i realized it was a necessity so lip liner is your best friend if you fear wearing reds or nudes or anything like that, lip liner is the way to go, the right lip liner. And sometimes you don't need to get all the lip liner colors in the world. I've used, for the most part, the same two like deep brown lip liners, and it works for most of my lipsticks. And I'm also trying to invest in getting some lip liners from the lip bar. So Brick House and Boss Lady are two colors that I really love. I want to get Rebel and Savage. I want to get some like purple ones that I've seen. So that's great. I have a lip gloss called Miss Independent. It's a nice pink nude kind of color and I really like it. I, I don't know. Let me just swatch this for you. This is good. So if you can see it, this pink is really something cute. It's so cute and I love it. Honestly, I kind of feel like putting this on my lips already, but I already have lipstick, so I'm not going to do that. And here is their lipstick called Cougar. It's a nice brown one, and I'm going to swatch that for you as well. And as you can see, it's practically blending in with my tone. Look at that. It's a nice brown. You can even ombre it and put like a lighter color on it, maybe even put that on top of a deeper color. These are really cute shades, and I'm glad I purchased them. So the lip bar is definitely doing its thing. I want to invest in its foundations as well. And they have bronzers and blushes, so they're really growing. They have a shop in Detroit. Go, Melissa Butler. I'm rooting for you. And it goes to show, like, she was on Shark Tank a few years ago. She didn't get a deal, but sometimes, and I've seen the show Shark Tank, sometimes not getting a deal could actually work in the favor of a business owner because they'll say that the exposure on the show actually helped them more than getting a deal. Now last but not least, I am going to get into another favorite that I really love and I think you should invest in it too if you haven't and that is Mented Cosmetics. Now Mented Cosmetics, uh, initially they came out making like nudes type or nude lipsticks for women of color that flattered women of color but this can really flatter anyone so i have the shades mented number five nude la la brand nude dope taupe and i have two of their lip glosses as well as two lip liners which i did not bring out for this show i'm sorry <laughs> i did not bring out the lip liners for the video but i have the lip liners night and m5 and these are all their semi-matte lipsticks. I have yet to purchase the matte lipsticks, but I already know what shades I'm going to get. And it's so funny, when I purchased these shades, I said these are the initial shades that I wanted to get at first. And it's funny how I got them. It's so weird. Anyway, Send Nudes and Mauve Over are the lip glosses that I have. And what I like about things like Brand Nude is that it's one of their lightest nudes. Let me swatch that. It's one of their lightest nudes, but it's so flattering on my skin tone. It's so, I really love this. This is one of my go-tos when I want that, the lightest, you know, nude shade in mine because it works, it's semi-matte, and it just blends in perfectly with a tone. And I always say, if you are, you know, a deeper skinned and you want to work with nude colors, like bright nudes or bright pinks or bright colors, I would say start off with a gloss or start off with a cream or satin base finish just to work your way in there. And again, lip liner. So that is what worked for me, you know, starting off small and kind of working your way in. And what I do with the matte nudes, because when those mattes dry, it tends to, sometimes they can look ashy. What I do is I use those as, you know, ombres lips so i use them as the toppers for other lips for other lipsticks or other lip colors so that is a good way to work with the nude stuff but i'm telling you mented cosmetics it's like you can wear the nudes and not fear looking like a clown or not fear having your lips looking dry or anything and so far i only have the semi mattes and the lip glosses but i'm telling you those lip glosses and lipsticks they work for, again, like the Juvia's Place uh, Nubian palette, they work for uh, almost any occasion. They work for almost any, if not any occasion, because you can wear them to work. You can wear them, you know, to at night. You can go out with them. 
these are perfect lipsticks. If I feel like I want to do a soft glam or a soft look, I'm going with a minted lipstick, especially brand nude. I'm sorry. It's like minted cosmetics. Look at this. Minted cosmetics is like a holy grail almost. These black owned brands, I'm telling you, some of them provide holy grail options. For us and that's so good so yes guys that is all that is my entire collection i am so glad you took the time to stick around with me i'm so glad you took the time to watch this full video how did you like my review have you purchased any of these products if you have comment down below also if you purchased any of these products that i didn't mention in this video or i don't have in this video comment what you actually do have and comment if you don't have any of these products at all will you be considering getting them thank you so much and i hope to see you in the next one bye